Hi everyone, I am Resinia, and I'm going to be showing you how to make this cat wall hanging that I made with squid poxy resin. I chose to use a turquoise background, however you can choose whatever color you would like. I've made many kitties in the past using different colors as you can see, so you can really have fun with this project and make it your own, which is what I really like about this piece. I'm going to start by explaining the materials that you need for this project. I use Squid Poxy Clear Fast, as well as the Squid Poxy Craft Resin for the top coat of the cat. You also need the silicone mold for this cat, which I got from Narwhal Star Studio on Etsy. There are many artists on Etsy that sell unique molds with other animals and shapes that can be used for this technique as well. Other materials include pressed flowers of different colors, some paper butterflies, some glitter, and resin opaque dye of your choice. You will also need some tweezers, and I like using a silicone brush for spreading the resin. And of course, you will need a mixing cup with a popsicle stick to mix, a heat gun for the bubbles, a respirator mask, and some gloves. Squid Poxy Clear Fast is a two-part resin, and I've transferred parts A and parts B into these bottles here. Wearing my gloves and respirator, I give the two bottles a warm water bath for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes has passed, I take the bottle that contains part A of the Clearfest resin and I pour one ounce into the mixing cup. A and B have a 2 to 1 ratio and therefore I pour half an ounce of part B into the mixing cup. Then I start mixing. You want to mix for at least 3 to 5 minutes. It is important that you mix your resin well and scrape all the sides of the cup while you're mixing so that your art piece can cure properly. The next step is to pour all the resin into the cat mold. Then I hover my heat gun over the resin to get rid of those bubbles. The first thing that I'm going to put into the resin is this blue butterfly. So I grab my tweezers and I make sure to put it face down into the resin. And then I cover the top with resin to make sure the butterfly is submerged. I set a photo aside for reference of what I would like the kitty to look like so that I know where to put each item. I then continue to grab more flowers putting them face down into the resin in the design and order I would like them to go in. This is the part where you can really get creative with what you would like to put in your cat and where. I like to add some glitter in different corners of the kitty for a little sparkle, but of course this is optional. Then I used my heat gun again to get rid of any remaining bubbles. After this, we are all done the first layer and I usually wait 16 to 24 hours before moving on to the next layer. For the next layer, I will be using teal opaque dye for resin. I've already mixed 3 ounces of Squid Poxy Clear Fast Resin and I am now adding the dye to the cup and mixing it. I keep adding dye to the resin until I get the opaqueness that I need. Then I pour the resin into the cat mold making sure the resin has covered all areas and creases. We are now ready to wait another 24 hours. All right, so it's been 24 hours, the resin has cured, and we are ready to take the kitty out of the mold. Here are the materials for the next step where we'll be using squid craft resin. I like using this resin for the top layer because it's thicker, so it's easier to move around. And in general, it gives it a really nice shine. Next, you will need these little eye screws or eye bolts. You will also need a chain, some jump rings, pliers, rubbing alcohol, a paint marker, and a drill. To catch the drips that fall at the back of the piece when adding the top layer, I like to use liquid latex, which you can get at your local party store or Halloween store. So the first thing you wanna do is grab your paint pen and start painting the lines of the kitty. It's okay if you paint a little bit outside of the lines of the kitty because we're gonna be wiping that off later. Once you're done painting in all the lines of the kitty, you want to wait about 30 minutes for the paint to dry. Once the paint has dried, I grab a rag and I pour some rubbing alcohol on it and then I use that to rub the excess paint off the kitty and I just rub on top of all the lines until it looks like this. 
Then I add my liquid latex on the back of the kitty and here I'm using my silicone brush to spread the liquid latex on all of the creases and corners of the kitty. Then I wait at least one to two hours for the latex to dry. Once the latex is all dry, I flip the kitty over and set it on an elevated surface. Then I grab the bottle that contains part A of the Squidcraft resin and I pour 20 milliliters into the mixing cup. For this resin, part A and part B are 1 to 1 ratio, so I also pour 20 milliliters of part B. Altogether, you should have 40 milliliters of Squidcraft resin in your mixing cup. Then I grab my popsicle stick and I start mixing. I like to mix really slow with this resin to reduce the amount of bubbles that come up just because it is a bit thicker. Again, I mix the resin for at least three to five minutes. And then I place the cup in a warm water bath for another 10 minutes. As you can see, after 10 minutes, the bubbles have risen to the top. So I grab my heat gun and I just hover over the bubbles to get rid of them. And now I'm ready to pour the Squidcraft resin on top of the kitty. I use my silicone brush to spread the resin all around the kitty in all the corners and in the whiskers. We want to make sure that the kitty is covered in an even layer of resin. Then I use my heat gun to remove the remaining bubbles and we wait another 24 hours for the top layer to dry. Alright, so it's been 24 hours, the top layer of resin has dried and we are ready to flip over the kitty and take off the latex. As you can see, the latex has made it a lot easier to remove the resin drips that have dried on the other side of the kitty while we were putting the top layer on. The next step is to grab your drill and drill a small hole on either side of the kitty. Then grab your eye screws and screw it into each of the holes. I like to start screwing it in with my hand and then I continue with the pliers. The next step is to cut a piece of the chain. Then we grab one of the jump rings, open it up with the pliers, and hoop it onto the eye screw of the kitty. Then I grab the chain that we cut and put it onto the jump ring and close it with the pliers. And the last step is to grab the other side of the chain, hook it onto the jump ring and the eye screw, and then close it with the pliers. Once the chain has been put on, the kitty is all done and ready to be hung up on your wall. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot in this video. You can tag me on Instagram at Resinia if you have any other questions. And I'd love to see what you come up with.